Hello, how are you, Amanda, Saint Artist? And guess what? We're doing the summer glow kit. I love doing this every summer, but this summer is different because we have Xanadu coming out on July 22nd. I hope it comes out permanent, but on July 22nd, Saint is doing their customer appreciation sale. And with that, they're releasing new releases, but they also have discounts based off of purchasing price. So fill up for fall, get your summer colors, get your glow kit ready, get a new palette. Look at how pretty this guy is. All right. I'm going to be using woo, this silver shape brush. Get this brush. If you don't have it already, go get it because Saint is transitioning to gold brushes. And when they're doing that, the shape brush is changing its shape. It's not that pretty dome. I'm going to use my hair. It is now slender. Ugh. We don't like that. We're going to use the silver brush. And here's the deal. Anytime you're doing a summer glow kit, you're going to be by the pool. I mean, I'm going to go lay out in the sun. I'm going to be in the pool on my vacations coming up. Prep with skincare. Get your SPF. I use Super Goop. I use their watery lotion. I really like it. But put it on and let it sit on your skin for 20, 30 minutes. Let it do its thing. Moisturize, SPF. Like, let it get its stuff on. Otherwise, your makeup's going to more mix with it and it's going to compromise the product. All right, let's get into it. I love that they combined these because while I had two tins with my bronzer and my illuminator, now I only have one tin and I was able to add Aspen. I love me some Aspen. We know I got stuff. I'm 43. I have scarring, hyperpigmentation. I got stuff. And this palette is very purposefully picked and yours can be too. All right, we're going to go in. I'm going to go in on the big end and I'm going to start with my Aspen and I'm going to start with correcting the things that give me the insecurities and then we can go in with this. Aspen is the densest color in my palette and I like it because of its density and watch it just works as an eraser on my redness so I put it on my problem area first this helps camouflage my large pores but it's a veil over my redness I go on my broken capillaries here some old breakouts just my scarring and you just need to dip into it once and you shouldn't be turning your skin a shade of gray that's too much product this should be muting you should still see the gunk you should still see the gunk I do have a little red breakout, so I'm going to tap into my Aspen. Not a lot. I mean, you barely see it on there, and I'm just going to buff it out and try to mute it down. Okay, the next color I'm going to go into is Sunlit. This has yellow undertones. It's a great brightener and corrector, and then I'm going to be mixing it a little bit with Xanadu to help with some balance. That's why I like this palette is because you have some control, but you could stay a minimalist and fix the things that you want fixed. I'm gonna tap in on the small end, but fluffy end for a light application. And I'm gonna go under my eye and I'm gonna cancel out the blue purple using this yellow. And then I just make this nice and light. It brightens, it corrects. And I'm just gonna tap this down below the trough. We all have that trough, okay? We can't erase our texture, but we don't need to accentuate it. And that's kind of the name of the game. So I always bring my brightener down low, but it's not crazy, right? It's not that crazy white that you see people doing. I'm going to tap on again. I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm just going to bring that up, bring that over. And I really keep it on the tops of the apples. And then because it's such a long fluffy end, it really gets that light application. And it doesn't cause a lot of stretching and movement on your under eyes, maturing that soft tissue more than it needs to. All right, now I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna tap into my Sunlit and I'm gonna tap into my Xanadu together. These together and I'm gonna tap over my scarring and it's going to give me coverage. It's gonna be coverage that's a little more balancing because I'm using my Sunlit but deepening it with Xanadu, my bronzer. And again, the, the illuminator in this is so very subtle and for me, I have oily skin and so for me, illuminators are a deal breaker. I don't like, a head, and that's why I liked when I can mix it as I had a little more control, but the balance they put in Xanadu is just, I'm buying more. I could only buy one early, and when they come out, I'm buying more. I'm buying more. So I'm just going to take some over my nose here. I think I'm going to grab a little bit of Aspen right here and just help with that redness. It's red. I don't want to be rude off by the pool. Okay, now I'm going to go in on the big end. We're going to dig into this bronzer. I'm going to kind of bronzer myself. And we don't need to put a lot of thought into this. I want you to keep that in mind. So I'm going to go into Xanadu, start light. Anytime you get a new product, tap into it, play with it, and see how it picks up. Because Bella does not pick up the way your contour does or the way your highlights do. But I have it on here. You don't want your bristles sticking together. You just want them colored. And I'm going to start up here. And I'm just going to add that toastiness that the sun gives you when you're sitting out in the sun. We're just adding that to that top side and we're gonna bring it down, grabbing it, and I'm gonna start on my contour line. 
and then I'm gonna bring it up to that temple and I'm gonna smile and I'm basically gonna put it like a blush, but I'm not gonna hit my apples. We're not gonna hit the apples. I'm just gonna bring that down just like that. Grabbing it again, we're gonna do the other side. Just gonna add that toastiness. And if you want, you can use that small end, grab a little bit of that sunlit, and you could just touch a bit of brightening on the mid of your forehead if you want. It's entirely up to you. It's not like some big giant spot, so don't worry. But I'm just basically bronzing here, grabbing that Xanadu. I'm going over. I'm not worried about my hyperpigmentation today. I'm just kind of bronzing and doing a really, just a lovely light sweeping where I'm gonna look nice and toasty. I'm gonna grab just a touch. I'm gonna bring this up and over the bridge. And I want you to remember, what are you doing in the summer? You're wearing your sunglasses. So we don't need to put too much thought into this. And again, I'm gonna take the fluffy, I'm gonna tap into Sunlit and Xanadu together. And then I'm just gonna use this to give myself a touch of coverage on my chin. Sunlit, Xanadu. And then I can go right here and I can just cover some of the things I wanna cover. And it's not gonna to be too light and we can use that Xanadu for balance. I have a lot of discoloration right in this area. And it's just such a light coverage amount. You don't even see it, but you see it doing something. It's so nice. I'm not hyper-focusing on fixing and covering. I'm more muting and bronzing. But I want to be comfortable. And that's where what you put on your face for whatever scenario you're in is entirely up to you. I'm going to go into Dahlia. This is my favorite color in the summer. I'm, it picks up easy, so I'm going to grab a little bit. Maybe a little more. <laughs> And I'm gonna smile and I'm just gonna hit right up here. That's it. I mean, it's the lightest amount and it's just a touch of pink. Whenever you get in the sun and you get flushed or you get tan, it's not just brown. You have a pink to it. And so I smile and I hit those high points on my cheeks to where the sun kind of pinks me up. And I can add it right here if I want to. Pinks me up, okay? It's so, so, so pretty. All right, I am gonna add a little bit of liner. I need to get my multitasker brush out. Why didn't I grab that? Because I just wasn't, oh boy, howdy. These brushes are out of hand. I'm gonna grab my Xanadu and I'm just gonna add a touch of bronzer on the outside right here, just lining. When you do this, you can really see those bronzy flecks and it's so nice. And then I'm going to pop off my lip and I'm going to leave a gap between where I put it on the edge of my lips and outside of my lips. I want to let my skin tone, do you see that? That's what I'm wanting to do. So I'm going to pop it off the lip completely and I'm going to leave a gap. You see that? We're going to leave a gap. We're going to do that right down here too. We're going to leave a gap and it's just on the mid of that lip. We're going to grab some of that sunlit. This is what this this is this is my glow kit, okay? I'm going to do what I want to do. And we know I'm never going to just not contour my lip. So I'm just going to push out that Xanadu here. I'm going to push out that Xanadu up here. And it's going to be pretty. Then I'm going to tap into Dahlia and I'm going to add that pink, not heavy, onto my lips. And it's just gonna give me that pink flush color on my lips. Mixing it with that bronzer. And it's so, it's just a nice natural pink. It's so darn pretty. If you need to clean it up, just do it with some of that sunlit. I'm very particular about my darn lips, aren't I? Okay, next I'm gonna stay with my shape brush. I'm gonna go on that fluffy and I'm gonna go into Xanadu. And I'm gonna go up here on my brow bone. We're just gonna push that over on the outside here of my eye, just a little bit. And you can pinch it and you can do it that way too. I know some people are like, my eyes are too small, pinch it. Just pinch it and just add a touch of bronze to that brow bone. And I pull mine pretty far out, but you can easily push this in towards the lid, but keeping it off the crease and off the, off the lid as much as possible because it is a cream and our eyelids are very creasy, but I like, I mean, there's times where we go in, <laughs> I'm just comparing this to what I do on my vacations. You're going to the ladies room, you're gonna take off your sunglasses. And so I want a little bit on my eyes. And so I just use my bronzer to add that little bit onto my eyes and so, okay, that's it. I'm gonna add my mascara and I'm gonna tell you something, you know what take, what, what can elevate this look is my favorite product by the pool and that's gonna be the oil. So I'm gonna pop that on 
So let's add our mascara here. I don't go too perfect and crazy here. I just tapperoonie this on the lower lap. I need my mirror. This is hard when it's not right up in your face, but we wanna add mascara to our eyes. Boom, boom. Oi, oi, oi. But I love the way that Xanadu freed up the space for my stuff to get fixed and corrected. And just remember, you can use that brightening and you can tap it into that Xanadu color and you can deepen your colors and create balance and, and a little bit of coverage for what makes you happy. I hit my lid. So I'm gonna take another brush that I need. Where, how do I have to, oh boy. All right, I'm gonna get my line brush here and I'm gonna get my spoolie and I'm just gonna chip this off. That's it, and now it's gone. All right, keeping by the pool we have to reapply our sunscreen every two. We don't have to, but we should. We should, we forget, but we should. We do it to our kids and then we sit back and say, go away, <laughs> go play. But for me, because I'm oily, I keep my setting, my set, resetting powder by Super Goop. And then I can go around and I can reset the, I'll, I'll set my makeup with this. And I just tap it around. It's super light, really, really nice. And this is how I reapply. If you have dry skin, get the resetting spray. And then it just goes in a little bag. I got this with my bog bag. Take your brush and just dust away if you have any excess. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. Grab your oil because this won't melt from a tin. So you keep this by the pool. You pop this on, pop it on. It's If you like chapsticks and balms, that's what this feels like. It feels like just a really good grease greasy chapstick it's good it's really really good and I just keep it by the pool with me and you know what we didn't go crazy on our makeup but you know what then you put your glasses on and that's how I apply my makeup I was in the sun all day so I have a little bit of a suntan on my nose and I used it as my guide I popped my pink right here I popped my bronzer up here and then boom I'm ready to go Let's go lay by the pool. Let's go lay on the porch. Let's go do life on the weekends. Let's have our husbands barbecue some ribs. Let's have ourselves a little mocktail, cocktail, whatever you wanna do, and enjoy what's left of summer. And that is my summer glow kit. Have a great day.